Brooks Brothers is the oldest American apparel brand dating back to 1818. Uh, today we have 170 stores operated in the US, 100 of those in factory and outlet settings, and another 70 full price retail stores. We also operate in over 20 countries around the world through license agreements with partners in those other countries. Brooks Brothers made a decision uh, in, in 2018 um, to, to go Omni. We, we had, at that time, uh, a single distribution center that serviced uh, e-commerce, and we had stores around the country um, that had inventory. And if the inventory didn't sell to somebody who walked in the door, it would sit there, and at the end of the season, we'd recall the inventory back to the central DC and then run e-com promotions to, to blow it out. And um, we understood that there was a major opportunity to not only service customers in the local markets better by cutting down the amount of time it took to deliver a package to them uh, by servicing them from a local store, uh, but we also had an opportunity to increase margins by selling product at the current selling price out of the stores uh, for e-commerce demand versus waiting for that to take a future markdown. The way to think about Brooks Brothers is that, yeah, we've been around for over 200 years, um, and we've had great product for, for many, many years, um, but we had to keep changing. If we didn't keep up with technology to be able to service our customers in this new world, uh, people talk about the new normal, you know, people talk about what's happened with the pandemic. I think that's gonna be the way things are gonna be for a long time. We have to be able to service our customer in ways that they never dreamed of two and three years ago. Uh, without keeping pace with, uh, with customer expectations by putting in technology like Manhattan Active Omni, um, we certainly wouldn't be around for another 200 years. So in, in 2020, uh, when COVID hit, Brooks Brothers was operating 270 stores and had a uh, e-commerce business that represented about 35% of our total business. And uh, overnight on March 17th, all of our stores closed, so we became a 100% digital business. It was a, it was very much an era that no one had seen before, and uh, we had to we had to be able to support some very significant holiday volumes through our digital channel, without having the scalability of the Manhattan Order Management System to be able to keep up with these large volumes. We never would have made it through that holiday season. So that was a, that was a really really important uh, piece of our strategy is knowing that we could go into that season, run whatever promos we wanted really rescue some of the trapped inventory that had been sitting in stores for months and months because the stores weren't opened and take that digital demand and fulfill it using the Manhattan Active Omni platform out of our stores. So one of the other big strengths of the Manhattan Active uh, Omni platform is how easy it is to use on multiple form factors. Um, we've, we've rolled out a suite of, um, of handheld devices. It just allows uh, our associates to be able to, to find product very quickly, pick orders very quickly, um, and do that while they're walking around the floor. I, I would say that Manhattan's been a, a phenomenal partner in helping us um, really be able to answer the call from the customer however they want to shop with us, we can now support them. You know, if we have the inventory and they want it, we can get to, get it to them. If it's a shipment from store, if it's a pickup in store, um, it, it's something that Manhattan supports us in all those areas. Uh, and it's very seamless uh, from an end-to-end -end perspective using the promotional capability as well as the customer service capability. We have very much uh, an end-to-end -end view of that entire transaction from start to finish so that we can always manage the customer expect expectations uh, during that process and also be able to um, have a good path forward in terms of what comes next. Uh, we now had the ability with the Manhattan platform to set up some new and different ways to engage with our, our most active customers, create special promotions specific for them um, to drive more re recency of visit uh, and frequency of, of transaction um, and just stay better connected with those, uh, those most important customers. So that piece of the promotions engine has been a really big win for us. Our, our choice in picking Manhattan Active Point of Sale to me is the penultimate goal of everything you do from an Omni perspective. Uh, as we roll out that capability to our, our first brand in early 2023, uh, we'll have a unique situation where we have active OMS, active promotion, uh, active store inventory management, and active point of sale all connected. So from an NSIO perspective, I like to call that the holy grail. 
being able to have all that connectivity uh, from a customer perspective, an inventory perspective, an order perspective, and a support perspective in one environment. Uh, and we're very excited for what that future looks like for, for both us and for Manhattan.